You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's The Voice After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424 424- 256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's The Voice After Show. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to The Voice. We are on week two of Eliminations Week. And this week it's Marky Allen. This is correct. And I. So where can we follow you, Mark? Well, that's a good question. On Twitter, you can follow me, Mark E. Allen. What about you? Just an E, right? No, yes, just an E. Yes, oh, correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, you can follow me at Macedo Music. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, actually, right. I am. Oh, well, you know, tweet me about it. You know who you can also, you can also tweet is Ronnie Jr. Media in the booth. That's true. You could tweet that. Hello. You could also tweet Marcy E. Lago. Is that how she says it? Marcy Elago. She does it like Marcy Marcy Elago. Elago. That's what she says, right? Well, she says Marcy Elago mostly, but yeah. (laughs) I don't know. I guess it was the same thing. But anyways, she'll be calling in and uh, dissecting the show with you guys. I was uh, having a great time watching this show with you guys. I I usually don't get to see it. Uh, Great voice show on NBC. And of course, on our after show, we want to always remind you guys to comment and rate our shows. Here at After Buzz, um, you know the hosts work really hard to bring you a great after show, so do us a favor back. We don't charge you. Like, we don't make you download anything. Everybody for, here, all mm-hmm. the hosts volunteer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? Oh. No, just, <laughs> yeah, you just don't get paid. Except for Mark. Oh. Mark gets paid, I guess. Uh, He's that good. Bam. No. Awesome. Well, I guess we could grab Marcy because, uh, you know, let's make this a real fun show. Yeah, got to get her in a corner. Hey, Mar- Marcy, what's up? Hello. Hello. Yo. Yo. I'm in your corner alone. Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> he is totally alone in the corner. It's just oh, Mark and I. It's yeah. Just what? Mark and I. I have to look at him the whole <laughs> time. Oh. No, you don't. Well, I'm driving from San Diego, but I wanted to be a part of everything. So here I am. Did you watch the episode, Marcy? I watched it, yes. It was good, right? I'm, I'm starting to, you know, appreciate some of these performers. It was very good, actually. Yeah, especially yeah. compared to last week where, I don't know, it took us a while to warm up. It took him a while to warm up. Last week was eliminations, actually, and I was just online looking at a, a pretty good summary of it. Uh, basically, we learned who survived. Yeah. At first, you know, of course, they're going to stall it as much as possible. So at first, they were here. I'll read you. So it is correct. Um, oh, Adam Levine performed. Gym Class Heroes performed. Uh, okay. Six of Blake's artists performed, and America voted. Safe until the next round are Jermaine, Paul, Ray Lynn. <clears throat> Why? And uh, Aaron <laughs> Willis. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you just say um, real quick that Mark was right on that? Marcy? I, no, no, you're still not right. <laughs> I told it's you so she fun. was going to make it through, and I was right. You did, you did say that. What, what, are you, what are you going to say about that, Marcy? I say she still sucks, and she's not going to win, and she's just there for laughability. Like, it's awful. All right, well, you know. Wow, as a comedic She's twist. there. She's there for what? Your your phone cut off just a bit. Laughability. 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 Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why so harsh? Ooh. Somebody needs to give you a <laughs> hug. Jeez. Well, you know, at least you're laughing, right? That's true. Seriously. <laughs> no, no laughing while driving. Uh, yeah, no laughing and driving, girl. So that was the uh, summary for last week. So now we're down to twelve, and and we kind of like a lot of the, a lot of this group. I mean. Well, yeah. Now now we're down to twelve. We started off with uh, it was a big entrance. 
Obviously, it's live. It's like a big deal. It's clear that everyone's under a lot of pressure. We started off with Team Adam and Katrina Parker, who worked as an insurance It sounds like agent. Marcy's in Hurricane Katrina. Um, <laughs> it's kind of, you may want to put those windows up if you're in the car. But anyways. The windows are up. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm doing 80. That might be part of it. Nice. Well, at least you're getting there fast. <laughs> but a Katrina Parker, insurance agent. Yes, coming out looking identical to Adele. Yeah, looking a lot like Adele, the blonde version. Mm -hmm. They even dressed Holy. her up kind of like Adele. Mm -hmm. um, Christina said that she seemed uh, restricted by the dress. Yeah, uh, I mean, I like the staging with the uh, violins down the staircase. It was kind of cool. But um, overall, I mean, it was it was good. It was nothing terrible. Yeah, I mean, she was good. It's just all I kept thinking was Adele. Marcy, I know that you thought that, right? Yeah, I mean, that's all I thought. When she came out, I was like, oh, okay, Adele knockoff. Total, like, little karaoke show. But she has a great voice. Yeah. Okay, but do you guys think that people are comparing her to Adele because her voice sounds like Adele or because she's large and in charge? I think they styled her like her. I mean... They put her in that category. You know what I mean? That's like, true. Like, they her a different way. That is a compliment. Yeah. Yeah. To even be compared. But at least she didn't do an Adele song. That would just be too much. But mm -hmm. I thought it's funny. Team Adam said, okay, I'm just going to talk about the big elephant in the room. <laughs> and it's Adele. <coughs> and it, it's Adele. And I just wanted Adele to, like, come out of with an elephant costume on. <laughs> just, nobody else thought that. Okay. And you wanted, you wanted Carson Daly to mess up. Uh, for, oh, for really bad. I could did. tell. How could dare tell. you talk bad about Carson wanted, Daly? He's the no, greatest. because it's live, and you know that they're all like, oh, my God, the, if I fuck up, it's going to be now. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 it's gonna. This is also live. <laughs> if I F up, it's going to be now. I'm like, oh, my God, you know? So I really just am like, just make a mistake. Ryan Seacrest is seamless. seamless Carson Daly is, is is an amazing talent. He, is, he, he, is he totally talented. is. But he said, it's, uh, you know, uh, let's see, what did you thart instead of thought? <laughs> yeah. What did you thart? <laughs> what did you thart? And he then, farted on stage? <laughs> what? He thart, so he finally. <laughs> so he actually fucked up. Oh, Whoa. effed up. <laughs> I called it. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, so obviously I'm. Oh, uh, it's Michelle tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, <laughs> oh, shit, isn't it? Okay, well, next was on <laughs> Team CeeLo with Cheeto. <laughs> Chessa. Chessa, Chesa, Chessa, whatever. Uh, she sang a Thelma Houston song, Don't Leave Me This Way. And apparently there's I a lot of... I thought it was good. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was really good, too. Apparently there's a lot of Twitter haters, and the, a lot of uh, the teams brought that up and are, are basing a lot of their choices on what Twitter followers right. do yeah, and huge. say. Which is pretty crazy. I, I just mm -hmm. hope people, you're, you're talking about the uh, the criticisms online. I hope it's not because there's, maybe it was the song choice, because that is an older song from the 70s. Um, you, do you think that's why they were extra? Oh, well, they weren't criticized. Well, not about this performance he, yeah. in the past, about oh, her okay. winning the battle rounds. About her winning the battle yeah. rounds. Yeah. So uh, yeah. CeeLo wanted to, her to prove them all wrong. Yeah, and I think she did, because yeah. coming out, I did not think she was going to do that well. She even did some choreography at the end, which was... Uh, oh, girl was getting it. <laughs> yeah, she totally did. Yeah, she was getting it. That's true. That's very true. She was, she was in your corner. She was getting yeah. it. <laughs> and uh, there was also some weird random dancers. Yeah, but, brought those uh, back. Yeah, brought those back. But still... But I, go ahead. Oh, sorry. I will say that I was not on her team at all, and I thought the other girls should have won. But she totally came out and did her thing. And I give her her props. Like, get it, Chessa. Like, I hope they actually vote her through because she stepped up to the plate when she had to. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. You could really tell she was giving it everything. Blake said it was solid gold. Yeah, it was like watching solid gold. Yeah, which <laughs> is that very exciting? Uh, I don't know. I know. I'm like, is that a compliment? <laughs> I'll tell you what. <laughs> um, Adam said it wasn't set apart like he wanted it to be. Like he it didn't to be pop. Jumping out of his seat, but I mean, it overall, it was a great. It was a great performance. But I mean, I can see what he's. There's like, no wild What else factor. could you do? More dancers. <laughs> More dancers. More shirtless dudes. Yeah. I, I know nothing I about. So. I know nothing about fashion, but was that a, a good look that uh, what's his name, uh, Adam had 
the shirt with that. Oh, the black on black. Was that? But it just looked funky to me. He looked. Yeah, he looked. It off. did look kind of weird, but like that. That he's cool. hot. So anything he does, I know. Everybody I like. Loves I love it. Adam. He could wear a paper bag. And yeah, like, Go that's true. <laughs> yeah, CeeLo, exactly. on the other hand. He wore something. CeeLo can do uh, wrong. Which, yeah, he which was last week. He does do wrong. I'd, but this week he was solid. Honestly, I'd rather have him wear his PJs now. I yeah. prefer his PJs. PJs and cat or PJs and no cat? <laughs> well, you got to nope, have the cat. No cat. Never <laughs> the cat. Sometimes I wonder if it's alive. He's like a big black Alice in Wonderland, like with the queen. <laughs> yeah, with the Cheshire cat. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Oh, weird. Yeah, totally. Wow, that's a trip. <laughs> anyway, um, well, CeeLo loved it, yeah. and uh, then we then we cut to Christina Milian in the social media room. Yes. And Jamar was talking. She was like, "Oh, yeah, this is so not exciting. fair." Like she like teased his little performance for him. Yeah, that's I know. It. I think she has a crush on him, and that's why. I don't think she was the one that said, "Hey, let's just." Hey. No, but I'm telling you, like she seemed. I don't know. I just I think she. I think was that like, was smart on, on the oh. voices part because you do have to tease something. That's um, true. You know? So I mean. Uh, he was the last performer, so he was the last performer. Smart. He got extra time, maybe, yeah. maybe, but they do oh, yeah. tease everybody else. But I was wondering why they didn't like, you know, be like tweet at anyone else. And he said something good. He said that he doesn't have fans; he has family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was totally cheesy. It was too much. Yeah, it was it was macaroni Tony, but I think people will like it. Yeah, I think so too. Because I'm sure you're not letting random fans come to your house for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas. Christmas is going to be crazy at his house. Oh, my God. He's like, Jamar, you said we were family, remember? <laughs> I'll be there. I'm part of his family. What now. happened to family? <laughs> uh, well, next on Team Adam, we had Tony Luca. Yeah, who, well, uh, he was the Mouseketeer. Okay. Yeah, I felt bad for him. Yeah. yeah. I thought the performance was good, though. I thought it was good, too. I thought it was, I thought uh, it was okay. Yeah. I thought Christina's comments were, like, right on for him. What? They, she was so mean. She wasn't mean to any well, of the, the couple people that sucked like, tonight. And then, he, then with him, with somebody that's her supposedly friend or or, or whatever. Childhood friend yeah, or whatever. Yeah, and then she totally like <laughs> bashed him for no reason. I yeah. totally didn't think it was mean. It was dishonest. What? It was true. She well, said, said uh, there's better voices in the like yeah but you don't need to say that there which, are she didn't which, say that to Ray which, Lynn which uh, she didn't song, say that to anybody else which song did he perform he, he sang uh, your, eyes. your eyes by Peter Gabriel yeah oh what I saw was good yeah it was I a thought. solid performance he had a cool cool look like a fresh look whatever and um, no it wasn't bad she didn't say it was bad she just said that yeah there but you don't do voices. that she said it like, there was there was worse performances tonight, and she said better things about them, like the Egyptian chick later that we'll talk about. Like, oh, the, come yeah. on! And she's like, "Oh, she's no, I can man. see." She said first right off the bat because I think she is thinking everyone's gonna think that I'm on his side, even though I'm I not. Agree. You know, just because. No, but I thought what she said was so valid. She was like, "You know what? I don't want this show to be about ooh, who you knew or who you are, yeah. like celebrity wise." You know, this is supposed to be the voice. She made an honest comment. She did I, say, I, I though, didn't think it was me. and maybe, maybe it was true, and maybe not. I mean, I think that they should have made this song like more modern. It sounded like right out of the eighties. Yeah, I guess. But and, um, but she said he's one dimensional. Yeah, I mean that's that's okay to say that. Yeah. Like he needs he needs room to grow. Whatever. Let's be positive. That's she didn't not, even try to sugarcoat yeah, it. Yeah, no, though. it was it was like. I don't know. It was unnecessary. It made me think like, yeah, and what you said earlier was um, her saying, you know, I'm still better than, you know, better than you. Yeah, basically. It's yeah. crazy. She Translation. did not. Sometimes it seems like that. I don't know. I didn't think, I didn't feel that way at all. But I she didn't, I mean, like, it, it's going to hurt him. Actually, all her comments tonight, I was like actually agreeing with her for once. <laughs> mm. Yeah, well, basically, I thought it was her way of saying like, now simmer down. I'm still better than you. Yeah, and now he's, that's really? gonna hurt. Yeah, that's yeah. gonna that those comments were the worst, like uh, uh, the worst comments of the night. And do they? They're not put. And do they, and do like, they really play that up? The whole like they were friends. I mean, they they, well, they just show like, pictures. Whatever. Do, yeah. I mean, but that was in the olden era. But of they her do and say that because I, I mean, totally they make it like that. No, it was, but like, do they crazy. communicate? Like, would they have communicated? Did he have her number? Not really. I, I, no, I mean, he hasn't seen no. her since then. But 
I mean, they, they, that's his story. That's what they bring. That's yeah, what he that's brings his to the story. Table. But he had a solid performance. There was no reason why she had a low ball him like that. Now people are are not going to vote for him just because of that. Or or I they'll feel bad it. that she said that and vote for him. No, but yeah, I thought it was or mean. they won't vote for him because he was really just okay and not very memorable. That's true. But I, I, I thought I thought it was a really good performance. I mean, yeah. And yeah. obviously, I'm right. So clearly. Okay, next person. <laughs> <laughs> You're just quiet. <laughs> what do you think about Kim Yarbrough? Yeah, on Team Adam. I like how she said Kim Yarbrough. She referred to herself in third person mm-hmm. and said, "Doesn't go out looking stupid." Yeah, well, sh- I think she did. She totally <laughs> did. I felt like so bad for her because I was fully for you know because like go fish. Like seriously, she looks super young, super great. What are you doing? Nope. She should have never done that song. Don't do that song. Okay, what song did she do? Oh, rolling, rolling in the deep. Rolling in the deep. Last year, maybe do that song. Maybe not this year. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, it's, still it's a mistake. It. I think Adele songs right now. Yeah, even. it's like a constant thing with these reality uh, singing shows. Yeah. Don't do Adele. Don't do Adele. Yeah, don't don't do, do, it. do Adele. And every time they do Adele, it's like, oh, they shouldn't have did that. Yeah, even, and, you know, it's never going to sound like the... People want it to sound like the recording on the radio, but then if they hear totally that, yeah, exactly. yeah, then they're like, well, we want something different, you know? Yeah. And it's just like, she's she. I think she really trapped yeah. herself in yeah, there. And she has a huge voice, and she's a great yeah. singer, but wow, uh, that choice just, I mean, I don't. I think she's in well, trouble. Like, yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, we all are friends. Um, <laughs> doesn't happen very often, folks. Enjoy it. Yeah, soak it in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, well, okay. She looked mad at the end. That's what I wrote down. She looked like, but her face was just really intense, and I couldn't tell if she was like crying because she was upset, or because she was happy. Did you guys know? <laughs> I was just like, no, Kim Yarbrough I... doesn't go out looking stupid. Anyway, mm-hmm. Team Stilo, <laughs> James Missoni sitting on a park bench in James wow, Street. Wow, he was right on James Street. What a coincidence. What a coincidence. I, You know, I always go on <laughs> James Street man. on the NBC lot. Yeah. yeah. Oh, apparently. Um, he's another Twitter one. Apparently he was, like, stalked by a billion girls that love him. And, mm-hmm. you know, I guess he's... Huge with the ladies. What did you think about his performance, Marcy? I thought it was good. I actually, right? I, I like, mean, like, he was pitchy in some parts, but, like, that little soft, sensitive little boy thing, like, I oh, mean, yeah. come on, that goes over big. Yeah. I mean, so Justin I Bieber. Has I mean, made it was a, a different song that. choice. CeeLo did a really good job with his song choices tonight. For the most part. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. I think, uh, oh, yeah, that's true. But I think. That the song choice was really good. I thought it was really good too. And Can't go wrong with he had that his song. Bo- boy band moment up there, and just yeah. when you thought there was gonna be, you know, that was that was all the girls that were gonna scream for him. He went to another part of the crowd. And yeah, he did. Screamed. And that's what CeeLo's note was that he was a little too distracted by the ladies, but he said that's like me, <laughs> so it's totally fine. Yeah. And right. then he's creepy. But again. I was surprised by his performance. I I, I didn't expect that, and me he's either. growing on me. Yeah, he's grown on me too. Him is uh, his ears. I'm like them ears. <laughs> I know. Now, Marcy, would you date him? Um, absolutely not. <laughs> that would be the the most hilarious date ever. I want to do a blind date with that, and then you know that show, Blind Date, that used to be on. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's still yeah. on, but that, those are two people I've put together. Whoa! That's the host. And wow, the creator. I totally did not. And even I see him at Ralph's all the time. Oh, crazy! Stop him one time when we <laughs> talked about him. I'm gonna come on the show. Um, okay, the next one was also Team CeeLo with Juliet Sims uh, doing Roxanne by the Police. Mm-hmm. And Best performance of the night. I thought, yeah, that was a great song choice. And she, she said, She was fantastic. Yeah, definitely. They all loved her. Yeah. Her dress was I'm so re- I'm short. I worried about her. Me too, I'm her voice. Let me tell you why. Because. You had five rehearsals, and you, they were all, like, not good situations? Okay, that means something's wrong with you. They were all not what? Say that again? In the beginning, in her package, the mm-hmm. first thing she said was, I had five records, and they were all ended up being bad situations. Oh, really? I Whoa. Didn't know that. What does that yeah. mean? That means she's probably super special. You know, to, like, work with? 
It's oh, super. Maybe. Oh, oh, super. Wait, sorry, I didn't hear that word. Super what to wear with? You're, you're, oh, you're super saying special. like like difficult, correct? Yeah. Well, oh. not necessarily difficult, but yeah, something. There's something going on with her. You know what That's I mean? That's true. That is a little crazy. That seems like a red flag. And a lot of people don't want to work with like I hate the term, but damaged goods. I mean, she's been out there five records. Like, obviously, something's not working. You yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, crazy. and at the same time, she could be just, you know, easy to work with, and then some crazy happen every yeah, time. Yeah, and like you were saying, you're you're worried about her voice. Yeah, I'm worried about her like voice. She's lose it because sometimes she goes for the note, and you know, she has that raspy voice, so sometimes sound comes out, and sometimes it doesn't. But sometimes she yeah. seemed genuinely surprised that it didn't come out. Mm -hmm. And for for going on tour, and for doing that like every night, or doing like concerts all the time. That just scares me, and it yeah. makes me nervous for her voice, and and it and then I'm like, ah, uh, don't push it and all this stuff. But I think she's an awesome performer, yeah. and she yeah. uh, has a cool look, cool sound. Yeah, definitely. I think Adam has like, uh, Adam's going to Boner Town for her. <laughs> I was like, are you talking about yourself? Oh. And she was quoting right there. That yeah, quote that's a quote. Show. It's a direct quote. But yeah, okay, so we're all friends again. Yeah, Yay. I didn't think it was. I didn't yeah. think it was the best performance of the night, though. But oh. I thought it was really one of the be one of the. Of course top you did. <laughs> <laughs> so, but Marcy, you thought it was the best of the night. Yeah, hands down. Yeah, it it was pretty awesome. Um, next is Team Adam. Okay, I love this girl, Matai, mm -hmm. and she did a John Legend song, which that's exactly her voice type. Um, she's so fantastic. Yep. She's so good. She <laughs> just she's so pretty too. Dude. I know. <laughs> She's so pretty, and you know that she, like, her life before this was nothing like it is now. I mean, Nursing obviously. Student. Exactly. Like, dude, parents, like, I get it. You want her to be, like, you know, have a, a sustainable career and all that stuff, but. You have a gift. Yeah. You use it. Yeah, pimp that out. Yeah. Yep, and now she she's, is. Yeah. And, and do she's going to be you, fine. She's going to have a deal no matter what. Yeah. And do you guys mm -hmm. vote? I mean. Yes. I already voted. I'm not going to say <laughs> who. I voted. Yeah, what? Why not? Why won't you tell us? What is this? I'm the, Sprint. Is the, the president? Oh, shut up. <laughs> I That's what I just said to him before the show. Um, but, no, so. but even like Christina was saying, like it, it was a little too loungy for her. I like the loungy, um, yeah. loungy feel with the song. I thought it was cool. I thought it was simple. But I like, agree. I loved it. Yeah, I feel like she's very like their ha powerhouse. And I think Matai can go there, but she is, I think Christina just wants it always to be like that every time. And it just wasn't, Yeah. I think it was jazzier than she wanted. But yeah, I thought, I thought she was amazing. She never fails. Adam said she was from a different planet. Mm -hmm. She is so good. I want to go there. Yeah. He wants to go there too. <laughs> Another ticket, non-refundable <laughs> to you know where. And she's 19. I looked it up. Right, so I thought she was younger. We won't run into that problem this week. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we're making sure for uh, for Mark's legal safety. We don't want you in jail or anything. Yeah, you. exactly. Glad, well, we do. That'd be funny. We could do an episode from there. Ooh, that'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> okay. Next is Tony Vincent from Team CeeLo. Um, he is very scary looking. Because Mark told me about the movie Powder. <laughs> Have you seen the movie Powder? Anyone? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He so does. He's straight from the movie. But I, I think he's got a cool, memorable look. But this, the, the staging today with him just trapped yeah i mean that's a cool effect for a, a performance if you have another performance right after where you can move around a little bit if, yeah. it's, if, if it's part of a whole concert but that i mean it just restricted him I don't know, yeah. you the Power Ranger dancers around. Oh, yeah, the Power Rangers, yeah, dude. Just... It was, like, way <laughs> 80s. It was way distracting. And I thought of, uh, I know someone that just got into the Blue Man group. Mm -hmm. I'm like, dude, if he walks through something blue <laughs> and he just paints himself that, he could totally uh, do that in a he's second. In. Yeah. He's so in. Terrible. They should really talk Which about he might that. need to because vocals after were really one. picky too though. Yeah, I mean, just, yeah that's true. It was like he was trying to make up for being up on the on, on the Yeah, uh, for on not the moving around enough. Yeah. yeah. And then Mark said, Man, I really wish that he could like what is it like walk around or whatever and it turned <laughs> yeah. around into a staircase which was a trans transformer yeah it staircase. was definitely transformer power rangers animorphs 
any yeah. of those references. So he is in trouble. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, Carla Davis, Team Adam. She did airplanes. Oh. I like the idea of her doing something like that. I think like, that it sounded good I in love, rehearsal. Yeah, I love the I love that song and I love the airplanes, uh, the chorus especially. Good. But it just was not. It did not match up at out of all. Breath, out of breath the whole yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. it was like she it was, was whispering. And I love that Adam was honest about that too. Like I felt like the, the judges were really more, a lot more honest on but, this show than they were on the last. But Christina, Christina gave her compliments about this 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 perform, talking about her runs and whatever. Likes this, but she doesn't oh, like. That's true. She doesn't like Tony Luca. She just bashes him. But oh, but I airplanes! Know. This terrible, the maybe the worst yeah, performance of the night. I don't know what she was hearing because I didn't hear any of that. But yeah. and okay. she was trying to sing the rapping part. Yeah. And it was just like everything just maybe if ran she had, it was like her and an acoustic guitar doing something like that. Yeah. Then that would be cool. But trying to work a stage, and she was standing on one of the plane wings. That oh said, yeah, the plane yeah, wing like, that said uh, Team Car- or yeah, team, Carla, uh, Adam. Team Adam. Yeah. <gasps> what? Like really? The smoke, the, the yeah, clouds, the smoke. It was a mess. It yeah, was a mess, it. and she was just like out of breath the whole time. I wanted yeah. to be like, okay, stop, breathe, and let's start over. Mm-hmm. Okay. I know. Just, just stay in one place, like. I know. Just stand still. You can't do both. It's okay. And Adam was was totally right on. Yeah. He he's better. She is better. Like in rehearsal, she has to bring it to the stage. Mm-hmm. This is like the beginning of a few bad performances for me. Oh yeah, this is a whole mess of them. Team CeeLo, Aaron Martin, the Egyptian. Oh man, <laughs> she's that lucky girl she's is sexy. Just a hot mess. Um, and she wasn't so pretty to look at. I, mm-hmm. I couldn't even watch her performances. I feel, I feel like I was watching the Michael Jackson "Remember the Time" video. <laughs> um, with uh, you know what I feel like? I what? feel like Aaron is. Um, the Rihanna. Uh, oh, interesting. Voice. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I see that. No, I'm not kidding. Like, yeah. you know, she's pretty, she's a good package, but she can't sing live to save her life. Mm-hmm. Like, mm. she probably would have a good recording. Right, right. Yeah, yeah I agree. Because she has a cool tone to her voice. Yeah, but... I like her voice. It's, yeah. it's, okay, the song that CeeLo chose was the Bangles, Walk Like an Egyptian. And Why? that song, that I know, it's like halfway, just talking really fast. I didn't understand yeah. a word of what she was saying, besides Egyptian. Yeah, and then she was so dressed up that after the whole performance, she was kind of just standing there like she was like the last one like, that <laughs> didn't change after Halloween was over. <laughs> Halloween, it did. I don't know. And she had a bunch of male dancers yeah. with their shirts off, you know, Spartacus. Did she look so sad at the end? Yeah, but, well, I think she yeah. knew. I think she knew that it just didn't yeah. come across because, yeah, the whole, I mean, it was kind of... I don't know. The scenery was nice, but it was not like if the volume was off. Yeah, we should be watching her, and she looked uncomfortable. She looked awkward. But she's capable of doing something kind of cool with. Yeah, I, mean, I think so. With a recording voice, I agree with you, Marcy. Yeah, I don't. I the bad song choice, Celo. Like, come on. Yeah, that was probably his worst yeah, song choice. Yeah, that was like his one like bummer song. Yeah, he can't do them all right though. I mean, yeah. Well, this was a team when. Uh, uh, Blake got a one-way ticket to Boner Down, actually. Mm-hmm. This was a uh, good time. Yep. Uh, just want to point that out. Yeah. It's a pretty good <laughs> moment. Yeah. Uh, the next one was Team Adam, and it was Pip. Oh, Pip. And he did oh, the killers was... when you were young. You know, I think there's something to be said for admiring someone and then trying to imitate them. I feel like well, he I should think be that himself. He should be on Glee. Yeah, I, I could see he's the Glee a, thing. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, because he, he I mean, should be on the Glee reality show. Totally. Yeah, yeah the Glee project. That's yeah. true. I thought he was gonna come through like when he was rehearsing and he didn't have uh, the bow tie on. He kind of had like a, looked like a normal kid. And yeah. Then he, and then he kind of just so uptight when he has the bow tie. And technically, he's 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 a good singer, but today it didn't come across. It kind of was almost like a musical, which yeah. would be perfect for Glee. So. But his mom and dad had bow ties on. They had little bow ties. So, like, that's his go thing. He's going with that. He's it, that's his memorable oh, thing. Also, his name is Pip. You know. Right. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's like, very proper. I want to do rock. I want to be yeah. like Adam Levine. And mm-hmm. and they just people like Adam Levine. I'm sure he just he has a totally different presence about him. And Pip should market should go off of like what he already has, not try to be someone else. Right. And yeah. um, Adam said something. That was like, oh, you need to be more dangerous. But I'm like, 
don't try to make him into you. Right. You know, mm-hmm. just like yeah. people, he has a bow tie. Bow ties aren't dangerous? I'm just kidding. <laughs> well. Well, I think it's the fact that he wanted to He wanted to do that kind of music. Yeah. So he's kind of pushing him and helping him. This is what you need to do. Yeah. Because he needs. He does need to let go. And there was a couple moments where yeah. he did, and he kind of let loose at the, towards the end. And that part, there was a small little part that I liked when he kind of let loose and wasn't thinking about the whole performance. And Yeah, you can't do a rocker song and then do musical theater with it. It's just wrong. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think you can. He just can't. <laughs> mm. <Yeah>. Sorry, Pip. <laughs> um, but he should be on Glee. I mean, he should be on the show Glee. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Maybe he will. That's true. See if that happens. Um, Team CeeLo, next and last is Jamar, doing a Lenny Kravitz song. I mean, good choice. That's kind of like a, yeah, I would... That's a given, kind of. Yeah. Um, yeah. Are you going to go my way? Basically, CeeLo was like, it ain't broke, so don't fix it. Yeah, and just, I mean, I, I thought his 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 image, his his style was really good. His vocals were on point. His energy with the stage. Yeah. He had this, this, uh, guitarist on stilts. That's always yeah, cool. What? Um, <laughs> that was super fantastic. That was oh, my yeah. favorite part of the performance. Okay, maybe it's because um, we're and, in L.A., but when I think about the casting breakdown for that, like, it's one of those that you're like, is this a freaking joke? Well, and it's like, uh, need professional guitar players that can walk on stilts at the same time. Those oh. are ones that no, I like. You, was it you know, CeeLo had that one of his shows, and he called them girls up and was like, listen, <laughs> need you to bring your sexy little selves over here. And <laughs> yeah, seriously, but I was freaked Stilt out for practice. them. Stilt Were you going to say Ronnie? Oh, no, I was just, it, was it Blake that commented? That he, he thought that was he sort was of ridiculous. Away. Yeah, he said it was taking. Take I thought it, I mean, it was a nice additive. I, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, Blake said it was distracting. If he can pull his, because of his energy and because of his vocals, he was able to, you know, put the main focus on himself, and that just kind of added to it. I mean, where other performances tonight, you got distracted. I agree by with this Blake. Stuff. It was distracting. I mean, I don't even think I noticed him for the first like thirty seconds of the song. But I, I was just like, oh my god, that's super hot. No, I, I, I wasn't. I wasn't distracted. I think. I mean, Blake is very country, and it's all about just the music and the guitars yeah. and the banjo, which I mean, I like he that style too. Thinks lights are evil. Yeah, so. but for this performance at the VMAs, it was yeah, solid. that's true. They're all VMA performances, and at the beginning they did the whole thing where they he was like on the stage, and it was like a whole light yeah. thing, and it's like a whole. I felt like thing. it matched up to the song. The song is a funky song, so yeah, we'll throw cool. in a funky it's element. Totally cool. Blake looked so uncomfortable though. I thought just in general, just the, like the way he does. He always sit like that. Like, well, yeah, I mean, he's always like he always little, sits like kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. He, he looked like he enjoyed season one more than he's enjoyed. Well, and he wasn't as he wasn't as dressed up as everybody else. And then even Adam told him he's wearing a, a crap jacket. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I know he just went and said that at the beginning of the episode. <laughs> And so that's all anyone could think about the whole time. Yeah, that's it. But that was my p- favorite performance of the night. And so, uh, there. oh, that was your favorite. Yeah, that was it. That was the one. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I what? could see. Th- oh, Marta, you think that that <laughs> wasn't a good performance? No, I think it was good. I think it was totally good. He did a great but job. But that Mark the is a fail. Awesome. <laughs> but yeah, be- yeah, because because I liked it the best. <laughs> Then it's a fair. Pretty much. <laughs> but I mean, whoever I okay. say is going to make it through is probably going to make it through because I mean, last week. I because you pick crazy girl. I know. Like, I just, no. I just know how the, I just know how the game crazy. goes. Yeah. He, the game is the game is the game. Okay. Did you just call it a game? Thank that. you very much. All right. Well, on that <laughs> note, let's go to commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Regroup. Yes. After Buzz TV. Hi, I was once like you. A lazy, angry Lona whose only joy was watching TV and surfing the net. And, like you, after I'd see one of my favorite TV shows, I'd be so excited and have so many questions that I'd actually have to talk to my douchebag co-workers about it at the water cooler. Then, I discovered AfterBuzzTV.com. AfterBuzzTV produces after-show webcasts and podcasts for TV series of all kinds like post-game wrap-up shows for all your favorite TV shows. AfterBuzz TV hosts are industry insiders who break down episodes of shows, take calls from fans, and interview cast and crew from each series with over 60 different after shows, from Boardwalk Empire to American Idol to Vampire Diaries to Real Housewives and more. Now, after a night of TV, I can ignore my stupid co-workers, who I hate, and go straight to my desk and watch or listen to all my favorite AfterBuzz TV after shows and have all the TV fan interaction I need. 
Thank you, After Buzz TV. After Buzz TV. What do you want to buzz about? Well, hey guys. So now we're gonna move on to predictions. Uh, our first prediction. Yeah, I'm waiting for music of the night. And now, your After Buzz TV <laughs> is uh, Mark and I were discussing this. What time will Marcy make it back home from San Diego? Hmm. <laughs> So you say you're going 80 miles an hour, Yeah, correct? what time did you leave? <laughs> I left um, right at 10 when the show was over. Okay. Yeah, okay. it should be at like 12, 12, 22. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, 12, 22. Okay, I'm going to say, depending on how fast you're going, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to say 12, 15. Just Ooh, throw it out there. All right. Just throw it out there. Right. Yeah. Okay, we got we'll that. See, I guess. All right, we got that out of the way now. <laughs> okay, one at a time. <laughs> And, you know, and Marcy can, of course, now, have her corner. You're after Buzz All right. TV. Here we go. More All right. So, okay, uh, Marcy. Marcy. I don't want to go first. Oh, Mark goes okay, first. Mark, yes. go first. Ooh. So she knows who to disagree with. Okay. You want me, you want me who I'm voting for or who I think is going home? Oh, who you think is going home. Okay. Bottom three? Yes. Just okay. Yeah. Okay. We'll do three. Okay. <laughs> um, I think uh, Carla from B.O.B. Is going home? Well, here's the thing. I don't know. Tony Vincent <laughs> from CeeLo's team is going to go. I think he's going to go home yeah. with um, Aaron Martin and uh, Chessa are going to be in the bottom three. Mm. And then I think Carla is going to go home, but Pip and Kim Yarbrough are going to be in the bottom two. Mm, interesting. Okay. Okay. And do you have a... An opinion on who's gonna win the whole thing? Um, at this point, yeah, no. <laughs> All right, good to no, know. I think Jamar is up there though. He's got he's got yeah. everything you need. I think. Yeah. Okay, Marcy. Um, I actually agree with you about Jamar. Uh oh. Thanks. Um, <laughs> I think he's up there as well. And let's see the bottom three. Definitely the BLB girl. Yeah. Definitely, Aaron. Yeah. Um, and Tip or Luca? Yeah. Oh, Luca is the musketeer. Oh yeah. I want him to stay. Prove her wrong. I know. All right. Well, but I don't think he's gonna stay. Well, okay. And so, if you had an opinion about, if if you would have to say now, who would make it to the very end? You think Jamar? I think Jamar has. He's going to be in the top three, for sure. <laughs> she sounds like she's in pain disagreeing with you. I mean, agreeing with you. Yes, she is. I am. I'm agreeing with Mark. Yeah, and she is in pain. And now she's throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> Out the window. Yeah. On the 101. Yeah, that's why five. it sounds like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Uh, what about you? What do you think? Oh, well, okay. Oh, this is hard. Uh, okay. I think that maybe <laughs> who's going to go home is Tony Vincent. Uh, the crazy, creepy powder guy. And, he's cool. Uh, I know, but... Uh, but he's going home. He, yeah. Uh, and and also, maybe Tony Luca. I don't want him to, but I think he might. And, uh, uh, oh, yeah, I guess Carla, you know. Yeah. She just didn't bring it. Really? She Aaron is not in your bottom three? She's just so pretty. <laughs> 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 She's just so pretty. She is. Yeah, and and also I brought it up how I it really, it really I think is a bad idea for her or anyone to say, oh you know like I I I want to be judged based on something else other than my looks yeah. because they know they're so good looking. It's like who the hell who wants to vote for you now? You know <laughs> who said that? Uh, the walk like the Egyptian, Egyptian girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know when people say that she said what? Just like, <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, because she's a former wow. model. and She's a former model, but you but know. But she's saying she's hot, and she's saying she's also, like, gifted as a singer. Wow, she's saying a whole lot about herself. Yeah, exactly. And she's saying, exactly. Why well, is it so bad to have good self-esteem? I was going to say, I love the confidence, so there's Well, it's not that. even a confidence. <laughs> it's that she assumes that everyone, first of all, thinks she's attractive, which is, you know, which is an opinion. It's just everyone, you know, and not everyone will think the same thing. And also, it's saying that she feels like she has such a good voice that she can just be judged alone on that. And also she's saying that she, we should feel sorry for her because she's so pretty. 
Wow, you just ripped her a new one, sort of. <laughs> I know. What's up, Christina like, Aguilera? Yes. When, when Marcy's not in studio, you step up your uh, yeah, yeah. Marcy corner game. I guess that's it. I'm like, get it, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. All about you, boo. Oh, girl. Okay, well, hopefully we will see Marcy next week in studio and Mark and Melissa. And thank you for tuning in to The Voice After Show. And please vote for us. I mean, rate us on <laughs> iTunes. Vote for Maria on Dancing with the Stars. Vote for Maria on Dancing with the Stars. And uh, thank you for watching. Good night. Good night. Thanks, From guys. Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, you later. 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 The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.